マリーンザスカイ「ハニオトモアレ」発売中Welcome back, refurbers and scruffy looking nerve herders, to a scruffy looking RGB game review. Today, I'll be reviewing Hani in the Sky for the PC Engine, which is a 1988 release by Face. Face is an obscure game developer from Japan that made a few titles for the PC Engine, such as the sequel to this one, Hani on the Road, and maybe more popularly known, Fushigi no Yume no Alice. This game is one that never left Japan. And on first look at the cover, it's probably hard for most Westerners to figure out what it is you're getting yourself in for. Personally, I love the artwork on the front as it is a very retro claymation stop motion type vibe, reminiscent of Gumby. I'm Gumby, damn it! But I used to make claymation stop motion videos as a kid and still love them to this day. So this is one that caught my eye as soon as I saw it. This is a vertically scrolling shunk with an interesting control dynamic. It allows you to rotate the angle of your fire 360 degrees, which takes some getting used to, as the rotation is quite slow in my opinion. And my other gripe is that it only rotates clockwise, but it gets points for uniqueness. And man, is this a unique game. The main protagonist is a Haniwa. Haniwa are Japanese terracotta statues that were made in the Japanese Kofun period. These statues were buried with the dead dignitaries of the period in Kofun or Tumulus, as translated in Japanese. This game is deeply tied into the myths of Japan, which is a big draw of interest for me because I love Japanese myths, monsters, and all types of stuff like that. And I'm sure most of you do as well. Izanami and Izanagi, the famous Japanese deities who are believed creators of Japan, have gotten themselves into some trouble. And it's your job, little Haniwakun, to save the Empress Izanami from the bad guys. Your short and stout Haniwa character is equipped with his rotating blaster, and you can purchase upgrades as you go along. Your path is not an easy one. Because there are countless demons from the underworld who relentlessly come at your little Haniwa character and they take no prisoners. This game has a high difficulty level and can be incredibly frustrating at times. You only get one life, so if you die, it's game over. On top of that, there are only three continues. In my opinion, they don't give you enough life to start off with. This game is mostly English friendly, but when you want to purchase an upgrade, you'll have to navigate a little bit of Japanese. That being said, I do think it is possible to figure out with a little trial and error, even if you don't read Japanese. You can visit the power up shop at any time during the game by pressing start and then A. The three choices on the menu are 1. to visit the upgrade shop, 2. to equip your Haniwa with your new upgrades, and 3. is to teleport. The teleport option allows you to transport to any of the eight levels of the game, as long as you've previously beaten the boss there. If you can tough it out long enough to memorize some of these levels, then you'll get to see some awesome colorful graphics. I enjoy the very cool tie ins with Japanese cultural artifacts, related enemies, and boss designs. The level design may be a bit too simplistic for some, but I think it fits with the game well. It's simplistic but cutesy design. It too has some vibrant colors. Honey in the Sky also has a nice, relaxing, and dynamic soundtrack, which gives a thumbs up in my book. At the time of this filming, Honey in the Sky is quite affordable. With a complete copy going for 2,000 to 3,500 yen in Japan. Loose copies go for 1,600 to 2,000. This game is mostly English friendly, but when you want to purchase an upgrade, you'll have to navigate a little bit of Japanese. 
I chose to review this game because I love the inspiration behind it. Its use of real Japanese deities, cultural artifacts, and symbolism. It's got a lot of uniqueness and interesting graphical design and sound. In my opinion, Hanyi in the Sky is a cute little shoot 'em up that is incredibly difficult and takes some getting used to. But if you enjoy interesting character design, Japanese mythos, legend lore, and culture, and you like a good challenge, bordering on the impossible, then this may be the game for you. Hanyi in the Sky by Face. Check it out. It's worth a try. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. Ha 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 